Okay, so after a lot of time wasted and using that thing to try and eat. Ah, shut up. So don't, don't drink. You'd keep your mouth shut if you knew it was good for you, buddy. Heat this whole part right here up so we can bend it down. We decided to go a different route. The hood latch is causing a muck. Like all sorts of discombobulation. And so we're going our own route and basically making shit work the way we do. Wallering out the holes that were on the hood latch because there's no, obviously you can see right there, there's no adjustment to, you know, put the hood latch itself up or down. So we're... Safety first! Safety third. So yeah, this is what we're doing. I uh, hope it goes okay. You guys will figure it out here in about five seconds because I'm going to edit this video. Yeah. There's a lot of shit going on right now. We're having to fabricate some shit. But... We're going to get her done. How's the battery doing? Piece of shit. Piece. Ah. Yeah. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Is there a problem here, sir? Gotta collect some data for my YouTubes. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be categorized as the Ray face. Oh, I have got to document this one. Ladies and gentlemen, my car is now a uh, suspect in the fucking unsolved mystery of where the 10 millimeter ball Nancy goes. Drew, where the fuck did my 10 millimeter go? Calm down. Oh, <laughs> uh, is there one second and gone the next? Like Kaiser Soze. Oh shit, it's down there somewhere. It's gotta be. Can you see it? No, that's the bad part. Oh shit. I think it's under your radiator. It's under the radiator? Yeah, it went back. It went back. Back in time! Oh, we're gonna have to take a brief moment of silence for, no, for Colton's 10 millimeter bulb. <laughs> Are you crying? I'm slowly buried a fucking... <laughs> Hang on, I'll get under. What we had to do? Or did you? I mean, I took video a little bit. Okay. So, what we ended up doing, just for referencing, is took a drill bit. You could probably use something else. It'll be a little easier. Got one of those things called... File. The file bit that you can stick in a drill that probably work out fantastic but we took the actual latch for the hood not that one but the one that's actually this this massive hunk right here and what we did was we filed down those holes that he's pointing at right there that those bolts go into because for some reason dodge didn't make it adjustable at all like there was no no play in it whatsoever no matter how loose you got the bolts so, so by slotting it we're able to drop the center of the hood down without compromising the sides which is going to be nice because now i don't have to sit here for the three hours that i did heating the hood up trying to get that sucker to bend <clears throat> and then what i'll do is i'll 
go through, we'll close the hood, we'll see how it fits, and we'll test opening it up. So we do have to make some adjustments to these again, because I mean it's not going to be 100% perfect, but it's a hell of a lot better than what we originally had. Look, 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 look. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. Holy crap. I'd say that's good. Fuck yeah, bud. I mean, there's minimum. You guys remember from before, that is the difference now. He used to be able to stick his frickin' pinky in there. I mean, that is, that is just hood latch play is what that gap is. We can't so, once it heats up, what I'll probably do in the springtime or middle of summer is I'll adjust those guys back up. Because right now, with it being as cold as it is, we don't run want to run the risk of... Pushing those up to the point where it's going to... Stress crack. Yeah, stress crack the hood because this is fiberglass. It's not, you know, aluminum, which is funny because my aluminum hood is heavy. It's lighter than this sucker. The sucker's a little heavier, which made out of fiberglass I still don't quite understand, but I got it on. Now... As far as the hood pins go, those are probably going in at another date. That's going to take a whole nother... That might turn out to be a weekend project, in all honesty, because I'm freaking paranoid. I'll probably sit here and measure it, like, 1,500 different times. But, let's see if I can back up. That is on. Looks a hell of a lot better. We still might, I'm kind of thinking, still put about putting some sort of gasket. Yeah. Just to... Uh, For now, yeah. And the thing is, too, is once this heats up, it all push on it, it'll lift itself. Yeah. But now with it being 27 degrees outside, we don't want to do that. 27, it's probably going to be fucking... Well, it's 20, well, it was 27 when I came, when I got home. So it's... Yeah. Now, right here, if you wanted to sand it here, if you look at the material thickness, this right here is thicker than these edges over here. These are thinner. Right. So you could shave a I little mean, bit. From here inward, you could literally shave a little bit of that off if you wanted to. I'm going to just call it good for now. 